Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about finding the surface area of a square pyramid. Okay, I'm going to show you two different ways. This first way is you use the base area plus 4 times 1 half base times height. And the reason why you use 1 half base times height is because that's the area of finding of a triangle. Okay, remember you have height, you have base. And then base area, it, obviously it is a like a rectangle and that will be uh, length times width. So let's get started. First, the base area is 3 times 3, and that equals 9, and remember, it's in centimeters, so that would be centimeters squared. Now, let's go, first, let's go 1 half base times height. So you have 1 half times the base, and the base is 3, and notice that you have 4 of these. That's why you multiply it by 4. So I'm going to go 3 times 5, and 1 half times 3 is 1.5 times 5 is 7.5. And again, that's going to be centimeters squared. Now I have to go 4 times 7.5. Okay. And the reason, again, the reason why we're doing this is that you have 4 of these. Because here's this pyramid if you unfold it. So 4 times 7.5 is 30 centimeters squared. So I'm going to add these together. 9 plus 30 equals 39 centimeters squared. Okay, that's technique number one. Let's look at another way to do this. If you would like a different way, you can try this. It's base area equals 1 half times the perimeter times slant height. So let's work through that. Okay, first we have base area. Remember, it's a rectangle. Each of these are 3. So you have 3 times 3, which equals 9. Now we're going to add this to 1 half times the perimeter times slant height. Well, the perimeter is 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, so let's go 12. So it's going to be 1 half times 12 plus, and you know the slant height is 5. When you multiply this together, excuse me, it is 12, not plus, 12 times 5, okay? When you multiply 12 times 5, okay, when you multiply 12 times 5, that equals 60. And then if you divide this by 2, that equals 30. So now you have the formula base area plus 1 half times perimeter times slant height. So you're going to have 9 plus 30, which equals 39, and remember it is centimeters squared. So I hope that helps two different ways to find the surface area of a square pyramid. Remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.